welcome back so now let's go ahead and start working on the next method that we will create above the widget bill that's a widget bill and above that in here now we're gonna simply just give the name as on load data and this will be asynchronous so in here we'll write async with it and take this down from here now we're gonna simply just set the loop for it because we're gonna simply show the network image for the specific coordinates as you guys can see right in here that's one two three four five so we have to just set the loop then whenever we will just complete that right on the specific coordinate there will be the network image so we're gonna simply just check one by one and just have the network image on it so in here first let me just write the code and I'll explain this in detail then so in here we'll have for loop as I tell you already in here we will create an integer type variable a and we're gonna simply just assign to it this variable 0 is gonna start from the 0th index and then we will take this integer type a okay and then we will simply say less than and then we're gonna simply just take the total length of this specific coordinate so we simply will get that right in this on my points okay so in here we'll say my points okay and we're gonna go with the length of it okay and right after that we're gonna simply just increment that specific integer type variable a okay in here all just fine now right after that curl the braces and take this down like that so whenever it will just complete the iteration on the zeroth index then it will go right after that all of the process and then it will just return and it will just increment the value in here and then it will go for the first index right after the incrementing the value so that's why in here we just increment that specific integer type variable a and right after that I don't know it's called the braces let's move further so in here first we'll have the unit at least okay in here and then we'll say image and now we'll just assign first we'll say average since it's asynchronous so in here we are having that method by the name for loading network image so in here we'll say for loading network image with the help of that we're gonna simply just get the network image on the specific coordinates that I tell you before and we will just assign that right in this image and as a type as unit at least so in here what I'll do now I'll just have the string in here and write it and semicolon I'll open the browser and search for any image that I'll show as a network image right on the specific coordinates so find this image now I'll simply just copy the URL of this specific image as you guys can see right at top that one okay just simply copy all of it control C and go towards the Android studio back again in here now right in this st string as you guys can see the string past it the URL like that okay as you guys can see now right after that you will just move down in here and we will say final keyword and we are gonna just give the UI dot codec okay and gonna say image codec image codec marker in here now in this we will simply say have it and gonna sign that ui dot instantiate image codec as you guys can see the suggestion right at first there we go in here now we will just provide the list okay first in here semicolon and tag this down so in here we will say the image with the help of that and then I'll check which image 
that image okay in which we just assign that specific URL for the network image then right after that we'll say buffer and then we say as unit at least I'll just explain this in detail first let me just write the code in here and then also we'll just provide the target height that we will set it for 1110 and right after that let me just set the target width is going to be also 1110 and right after that we're going to just get down and we're going to say final key and then you say ui dot frame info and now going to give the object name as frame info and we will assign to that first we'll say avit and then uh, assign the image codec marker okay in which we just assign that instance here image codec and the list all of these so in here we'll say image codec marker okay that one and then we say dot get next frame and right after that let's create final key by data in here okay right after that object name of this specific byte data and then we'll say avid since it's asynchronous so we have to just avert until the actual result come and then we say frame info in here there we go so with the help of that we'll say that dot image and then we say dot to buy data then we're gonna simply just get the format convert it so in here we'll say format then we say ui dot image by format that first one and then we say dot png and right after that in here semicolon put it and get down then in here we'll say final and then say unit at least in here and then we say gonna give the name to the specific object name as unit at least we'll say image marker then we say resized then we're gonna simply just assign the byte data not this one byte there we go okay by data with an old check then we say dot buffer there we go and then we say as unit at least all just fine now right after that we're gonna simply just add our markers okay but before adding the markers let me just explain all of this code that I wrote okay right from the start on load data as I told you already about the specific for loop it's gonna just start the iteration from the zeroth index and it's gonna check one by one all of the coordinates that's right inside the my points okay that's why in here we just provide that my points dot length and right in the my points as you guys can see we are having that all of the latitude and longitude the coordinates so it's gonna start from the zeroth index and gonna check one by one whenever the zeroth index will be completed all of this specific process then it will come back and just increment the specific integer type variable a increment it to the one and then it's gonna go toward the first index and gonna just complete the process then and so on and check all of the my points the coordinates so right after that in here in this image as a unit at least we assign this specific method okay we just call upon that in here and it is basically used to download an image from the specified URL that we just provide in here okay so it's gonna just download the image from the specific URL and it's just written as a unit at least so that's why in here we get that image as a unit at least okay it's gonna simply just representing the binary rate of the download image so now right after that the download image will then process to resize it and using the UI instantiate image codec as you guys can see we just assigned that right in this image codec marker as a UI codec okay from the provided image data so in there we just set this specific list okay as I told you already about that and then we just provide the height and width and then we go for the UI in frame 
info as you guys can see the object name in here and in this we just assign let me just scroll to the right side so that specific UI frame info as you guys can see right in here is basically obtained from the UI image code DAC so it will just give the information about the specific frame of the image and we just assign that image codec marker with a get next frame to just get the information as I told you already about the frame of the image and we assign that right in this frame info so right after that we just convert the image to the byte data as you guys can see right in here this line of code it simply means that the image is converted to a byte data and we just assign the specific format right in this byte data object name and finally in here as you guys can see that byte data object is basically converted back to the unit at least and then it will just resize image data is stored basically right in the image codec marker in the image marker resize which is assigned to that so I hope it's clear now let's move further now we will just add the markers down below in here so I'll say my markers okay and then we say dot add now in here semicolon and take this bread down in here we'll say marker there we go gonna provide the marker ID so in here we'll say marker ID and the marker ID gonna just change with the index number okay as we having that as an integer type variable a so it's gonna just change the ID according to this specific integer type variable a okay so in here we are gonna have that in here and then we will just convert it to string so we'll say dot to string and right after that in here comma and let's take this down from here now we'll set the position and the position is gonna be my points guys remember that okay all of the coordinates because in there and with the specific index so the index is gonna be the integer type variable a and basically right after that we're gonna just provide the icon in here so we'll say bitmap descriptor as we did right in the previous videos so then we say from bytes and in here we'll have the image marker resize okay in which we just assign that that one as unit at least so in here let's have that okay and right after that let's show the info window so in here we'll say info window and we're gonna simply show the title the title is gonna be something like we'll say my marker title and then with it we'll simply just print the index number okay that's fine in here as you guys can see since it's a stateful widget so we have to call upon the switch state it is gonna just change the result dynamically whenever we will just test the app in here call upon that and the last thing that we will do above the widget build that's a widget build and above that in here we'll call upon the init state and gonna call upon the specific method by the name which is on load data call upon that in here and all just fine and basically that in its set what it will do that specific method will just trigger the onload data method as you guys can see right in here and which will be likely just handle the data loading or other asynchronous stocks whenever the widget is first inserted in the widget tree so basically that specific pattern is commonly used whenever you want to perform a certain actions just once whenever the widget is initialized so that's why in here we call upon that and all of the working has been completed for the showing the network image as a custom marker so we have to just simply go and test the app okay come here how to load the app since we made a major change so we have to how to load the app now what I'll do I'll just zoom out 
like that as you guys can see the network image right in here okay that specific as I show you the specific image right in the browser and we are having that just zoom out and you guys can see the network image right on the specific coordinates okay which coordinates that coordinates okay as we set for this right in the specific method the for loop okay my points dot length as I explained this earlier in detail so we are having that on the specific position coordinates as you guys can see right in here the network image is working totally fine and if you guys just click upon that it will show you the marker title 4 that one marker title 1 there we go with the second third and there we go with the zero title okay as I told you about this that is gonna start from the zeroth index okay right in here so I hope it's clear now and basically that's it for this video and we will be working right on the other concept right in the next video so see you then